I set up a fun little experiment in my shop this evening and I thought some of my subscribers would find it as interesting as I do. What I did was I took my oscilloscope and I set it on the most sensitive scale and I uh, hooked it up to this coil here that's got many miles of wire on it. It's a very fine wire. I think I estimated it to be over 11 miles of wire, believe it or not. And I've got this metal rod going through here. And <clears throat> what I'm doing is I, I want to see how far I can detect a magnetic field uh, with the oscilloscope. And I'll give an idea how sensitive this thing is. Um, you see the trace on the oscilloscope. Just by me moving this tiny little magnet in my fingers, it affects the, the trace by what this coil is picking up over here. And right now I'm probably about four feet away from that coil. And if you look at the trace, you can see it's still affecting it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep getting further and further back. In fact, I'm going to turn off the light here because I'm going to end up walking out on the street to uh, complete this experiment. So <clears throat> I'll start out using this very small magnet. And I'm going to get back, um, I'm going to get back about, oh, I estimated this to be about 11 and a half feet back here. So well, let me turn on the light for a minute so you can see better what I'm doing. Let's see, what I should do is turn on this other light over here. I think this will work a little better. I'll plug this in. Wow, even the, uh, even the uh, light I turned on over here, it's leaving a little bit of a trace on the scope. So, I'm going to start out with a small one here. I'm going to guess that right now I'm probably about five feet away. And if I move all the way back to where the camera is with a small little magnet in my fingers here, I can still see it moving the trace a little bit there. Let me magnify that as much as I can. There we go. Anyway, here we are about 11 and a half feet away. I'm twiddling this little magnet around in my fingers. You can see the oscilloscope trace moving a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with this bigger magnet. See this bigger magnet has a much more uh, pronounced effect on it. Let's see if the camera is able to pick up the size of this magnet here. It's probably about uh, eight inches long or whatever. It's one of those neodymium magnets. Look, look at how it affects it from here now. I'm going to pull this back to about 11 and a half feet. Now I'm going to go outside my shop. I'm going to bring this tripod with me, and I'm going to actually walk out onto the street with this thing. Hopefully I can operate this tripod at the same time. I'm going to start by stepping back about 25 feet by this tree back here. Let's see if I can get this to stand still here for a minute. Okay, right now I'm at 25 feet. As you can see, as I move my magnet out by this tree, I'm still messing with the trace on the oscilloscope. And if... Uh, traffic allows, I'm going to step back here about 50 feet, out in the middle of the street. I'm going to point the tripod at the scope of my shop. I have to do this fast before traffic uh, gets me in trouble. Right now I'm twiddling the magnet and I can still see it affecting this thing. I hope the camera is picking that up. Uh oh, here comes some cars. I'm out of here. Anyway, I measured the distance from where I was out in the street just now and I figured that was about 50 feet. So for what it's worth, I thought that was an interesting experiment. Makes you wonder, how long can a magnetic field go? I mean, here we've got this oscilloscope that's, uh, you know, picking it up from 50 feet away from me moving this magnet around, but if we could see into the world of the invisible, how far does that magnetic field go? I imagine it's much like radio waves. For all I know, it goes for miles. Anyway, I'm done with my experiment. Hope you found that as interesting as I did.